Hey everybody, it's Mr. Morris. I'm here to talk to you about your book club final product, the packet. So I'm going to walk you through the packet. You guys are going to be doing a project on your And let's get you going on what that looks like. So you guys now have access to this packet. Let's roll down. This is kind of a cool, I picked this because, you know, it's got the swastika and the Star of David, the Nazis and the Jews. Kind of a interesting visual right there, right? All right, let's take a look at our first uh, rubric. So your first rubric is the paper you're going to write. You're going to write a paper about your book. And you've probably already watched that video, but if not, let me give you real quick. This is the template, and this is the paper you're going to be writing. So more on that in a few minutes, okay? But this is the paper that you're going to be writing. There's an example from last year that is just a fantastic example. And here's the template. And again, you have access to the template. But watch the other video to completely understand what it is you're doing with that. But you're going to be uh, marked off for having done that right here on this rubric. Plus, I have the other rubric for your paper. If you want to go to the example, I have the example link right here. You click on this and you will get to this. Okay. So I have that for you. So if you click one more time, oh, getting ahead of myself. If you click on here, you will get to this paper. Okay. Moving on. Let me drop down here. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be finding evidence from the book to go along with the paragraphs. So it says beliefs right here, what the character believes to be true, and you're going to spend some time looking for three different pieces of evidence in the beginning, middle, or ending of your book where it talks about the character's beliefs and giving examples and evidence. So you're going to be filling this in, and Miss Arts or myself are going to be looking at this, or Mr. Meyer looking at this and marking you off. The next one is values. You're going to be putting beginning, middle, and ending parts of the book, three or two, three, excuse me, three different parts of the character's values through the book. And if they change, great. But if not, same thing. And finally, the rules. So that's what we're talking about when we're talking about this. So here's that example. If you watch the other video, you know what this is. When Sarah first locked Michelle in the cupboard of the book, uh, the cupboard, the book shows on page nine, Sarah saying, I'll be back for you later, I promise. So that is something that while you're planning all of this, you would write right here. Okay, what the character believes. And you need three pieces of this with evidence. Okay. And again, as I mentioned to you, if you need to take a look at that example, it's right here. Once you're done with your paper and you've turned in your paper, you are going to make a slideshow. What do I mean by the slideshow? Well, let me drop down here and show you. Here is everything you need to know about the slideshow. It's going to be a Google slideshow. You're going to bring up Google Slides. And first of all, here you have a title slide. The title of my book must be large, author of the book, and your name, plus pictures that describe you know, what's going on with the cover. I'll show you that in a second. So the next part is your introduction paragraph. You're going to chop up your thesis and your subclaims, and you're going to make some slides, and you're going to put this together in your slideshow. So let me show you a slideshow I made from the uh, example that I showed you earlier that that uh, student made. So here is my title slide, Sarah's Key by Tatiana De Rosne, and the project is by Susan Blake. This is the person or the girl who made this. Notice I have a picture of the cover. I found it on Google Images, so I found the cover of the book. The Star of David and the Key, because it has to do with the book. So here's my title slide. You guys can do the same thing for your title slide. Now, the introduction paragraph. I have a minimum of three slides. You can use four, try not to go five, but three minimum. These slides must have paragraph one. The slides must have different parts of the paragraph on it. And each slide must have a picture from the Google Images that shows the point of the writing on the slide. Remember, the pictures have to describe the character or the action of the story. Let me show you what I mean. So let's go here. 
and let me show you this. This is my thesis with my three subclaims, beliefs, values, and roles. And let me show you how I made the uh, slideshow. Introduction. Notice how I have the word introduction up here. So we know this is still the introduction paragraph. I have my blue thesis, and I have some pictures that go along with that. This would be the young girl, Sarah, and her little brother, Michelle. Okay, I just grabbed these two pictures off the internet. I Googled girl in the 40s, and I Googled little boy in the 1940s. Okay, notice how I'm adding. I'm putting pictures in that tell the story. It's not the exact pictures that go along with it, but whatever, right? Then I go over here, and I have my first subclaim, the beliefs. And the beliefs talk about her being with her family. Well, here's a little girl and her little brother and her family. A modern day picture, but it tells the story of what this piece is. Uh, still in the introduction, so we're at the yellow part now, her second subclaim. She values the key. Here's a picture of an old key. And then, of course, the last introduction slide. Okay, I use four, minimum is three. Um, I made each subclaim its own slide. The rules. Hide when the police were around. So here's her hiding and being able to escape the concentration camp. This, uh, later as I explain, will be uh, a scene of her trying to escape the concentration camp. All right. Now we're going to be moving into the actual first body paragraph, the first subclaim paragraph. So let's go back here. Now the beliefs paragraph. A minimum with three slides. You can do four, but three is fine. Break your paragraph into three sections, find Google Images, and find pictures that describe the action of the story. So I'm going to take my paper that I've already written. Here's the red paragraph on beliefs, and I'm going to chop the first section. I'm going to chop the middle section, and I'm going to chop the third section to come up with my three, par my three slides. Beliefs paragraph, the first section. On page nine, Michelle is in a cupboard and she says, I'll be back later. Notice how I found on Google Slides, I'll be back later. Kind of telling the story, right? Keeping the action going. And of course, the magic key in the cupboard. I go back to the next one and it talks about the beliefs paragraph 19, which is her second part of her beliefs in the writing that she did. She talks about the French police as opposed to the Nazis. I've done that here. By finding two pictures, I typed in 1940s police in France and what a Nazi outfit or uniform looks like. And then finally here, her third and last, on page 160, it talks about a rotten stench. It says the rotten stench was terrible and it was like a fist striking her face. So here's the stench. And here's her plugging her nose, carrying the story on. Okay. You're going to do the same thing for your values paragraph. Break it into three or four, but minimum of three, finding pictures. Same thing with rules. So let's take a look here. Here's my values. Little boy in a cupboard. Values. She's very strong, and she knows she's going to get back to her brother. She values her little brother. And finally, at the end, her values, her values really change because she doesn't save her brother. And it later affects her, and she dies in a car accident. <laughs> Sorry, not a fun book. But here is the, an image of a car accident in the winter when actually it was described to have happened in 1972. This is more of a modern picture, but it tells the story. I typed in car accident in the winter into Google, and I like this picture. When we get to the rules, always obey the police. And down here, it talks about uh, the fact that they're following what their parents say to do. So here's this little girl and her parents. The next one, it says that she is behind in a concentration camp. The rules are follow what is being told. Do what you're supposed to do in the concentration camp. And then on this one, the last, notice how I, I broke it down. So I have the first section of uh, rules, second, and finally the third and last section on page 150. She talks about rules. She talks about being in line to uh, line up to do what the officer tells her to do. And then the conclusion. So let's go here and take a look at the conclusion. A minimum of two slides. Say minimum. You can have more, but two is fine. Break your conclusion into two sections. And, of course, find pictures to go along with it. 
So here's what I did. I talk about the conclusion and I show actually the cover of the book that I found on Google. I'm sure you can all find the covers of your book on Google. And then I go here and it talks about that life-changing event. I found a sign that says life-changing event up ahead and her crying because she couldn't save her brother. So that is what I have for the slideshow. You are going to make a slideshow. And these are the directions that you're going to follow to do it. Okay. This is where you're going to be putting your evidence in here that goes along with it. And that'll be marked off daily before you write your template. And then finally, you guys are going to give a presentation. You are going to share your Google slideshow with either myself or with Miss Arts or with Mr. Meyer. And you are going to get up in front of the class. Yep front of my screen or Miss Art's screen or Mr. Meyer's screen, and you are going to present to the class. Now, here's one thing you are not going to do. You are not going to get up and read word for word your paper. You are not. You are going to walk us through the pictures. Your picture should tell the story. For instance, here's how I would do it. Hi, my name is Kurt Morris. Okay, it's Susan Blake. And my book was Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. Here is a cover of the book that I found on the internet, Star of David and the Key. In the first part, I want to talk about the fact that this book is about a little girl named Sarah and her brother Michelle. They live in France in the 1940s, and the Nazis have come to take them away, and she puts her little brother in a cupboard. Her beliefs are that she loves her family, and she's going to get back to them. She values the key that she's locked her little brother in the cupboard with. And the rules are, do everything you can for what people tell you to do, because if you follow the rules, you will get free, and you will go back and unlock your brother. All right, well, my beliefs paragraph starts like this. She puts her brother in a, uh, a cupboard, and she believes throughout the book that she will get back. She will be back very soon. Notice how in telling the story without reading this, you know what you've written. You know what it says. You are kind of describing the pictures and keeping the book and the story going because we do not want to stand there or sit there and listen to you read it while you turn around and stare and read the uh, words on the slides. Okay, so we're going to present mode to show you what I mean. So you want to be able to say, okay, in this one, we're talking about beliefs. She believes if she listens to the French police, show the better chance than listening to the Nazis who are the guards. And again, you're keeping the story going. When you are done with this entire process, down here in the conclusion, when you're done, you can answer any questions. Because I'm sure we'll have some questions. We'll be paying attention and listening to what you're saying and you know, be really into your description. Please make sure, please make sure that you are not reading exactly what's on the slide, but you are paraphrasing and going through and summarizing and talking more about your pictures and why you chose those pictures. To keep the story going. And then you can answer any questions at the end. Okay, so that is what your presentation is going to be. Presentation must be understood. Yeah, this got cut off. I'm sorry. Presentation must be practiced. It must be creative and it must be prominent. And we need to understand what you're saying. Don't leave a lot of gaps, okay? Keep the story going, almost as if you're giving a five-minute summary of the book, but talking about the beliefs, the values, and the rules of your main character, okay? And that's it, three parts. You are writing a paper, link here to see this, if you want to take a look at the example. You are making a slideshow if you click this link right here it'll take you to this the one that i made for this uh writing you know the, the slideshow i made for it the example and then of course your presentation which i kind of walk through don't forget you have to fill in these sections here before you put them into your template so that we can see them and of course, down here is the exact way that you make your slideshow following these directions. 
and the deadlines we will give you the deadlines based on whatever date we uh start doing this okay so stay tuned for the deadlines if you have any questions please ask and thanks for your time bye